packaging and deploying your PWA. As we saw on a desktop device using the Chrome browser, if your PWA is installable, then an install button appears in the address bar. Unfortunately, this does not happen using the Oculus browser. There are a number of steps you need to take to install a PWA app on your Oculus Quest headset. The first step is to upload it to a remote server. If you don't have one available, then use tiny.host. The free option is limited to 3 megabyte files, maximum, but it will help you get started. Just zip up your app, upload it giving the content a short name, or use GitHub Pages, and this doesn't have the 3 meg limit. There's a link in the resources outlining how to get started with GitHub Pages. Once your app is online, test it using the Oculus browser. If all seems OK, then it's time to package it. PWA Builder allows you to do just that. Go to pwabuilder.com and in the box marked enter the URL to your PWA, do just that. Then press Start. PWA Builder analyzes your site if all's well, then you'll see a congrats message and a next button. Press it. Choose the MetaQuest Store package. Various options appear. Either accept the defaults or update them. Then press generate. Once your package is built, you'll see a download button. Go ahead and download. Choose where to save the zip file. Once downloaded, unzip the package. To deploy to your headset, you need Oculus Developer Hub, at least that's the easiest way. This is a very useful app, making it easy to deploy development builds to your Oculus headset. To install ODH, download the Mac OS or Windows installer. Install the application, open the application and log in using your Oculus credentials which must be the same as those you've used for logging into the headset. You're ready to connect your headset to ODH. To use ODH features, you must connect an Oculus device to the computer. Put on the Oculus headset and sign in to the developer account you want to use for development. On the headset, go to Setting System Developer and then turn on the USB Connection dialog option. Alternatively, you can open the Oculus Mobile app, select the headset from the list, and then turn on the Developer Mode option. Connect the headset to the computer using a USB-C cable and put on the headset again. Click Allow when prompted to allow access to data. Accept Allow USB Debugging and always allow from this computer when prompted on the headset. Open ODH, go to Device Manager and check the device status. It shows the device ID and status is connected and active. If you have multiple headsets, then repeat these steps to connect other headsets. To install the app, find the APK file in the unzip package and drag and drop to ODH. The file will be installed on your headset. Put your headset on again and choose Apps. To view the app, go to the App button and slide down to select Unknown Sources. Your app will be listed there. Launch and admire your handiwork. Apps created this way can be uploaded to the Oculus Store. The developer.oculus.com website has all the details. See the resources link. But this is a WebXR course and there's no WebXR in this example PWA. Steady on, one step at a time. In the next video we'll look at a WebXR PWA example. Check it out. This video is part of my Learn to Create WebXR VR and AR Experiences Using 3GS course. Get the complete course at a great discount by following the link at nicklever.com forward slash courses.